Uh, before I show uh, our model and uh, the model that we developed, I want to give you a few uh, details about my city. So uh, Tzfat is uh, Israeli not uh, peripherally, on the north of Israel. You can see that we are surrounded by three borders, Lebanon, Syria, and by the way, if you want to speak about refugee after that, uh, Syria and uh, Jordan in the south. Uh, Tzfat is the capital city of this area, and uh, for Tzfat, we have a, a, a very complex city. So it's a microcosmos of the society of Israel. In one city, I have three observation center of Ethiopian that come from immigration from Ethiopia. I have a, a village of Arab that belong to my municipality. Also, 13% of my citizens are ultra-Orthodox. And um, I have also immigration from uh, uh, Russia. And uh, it's a very uh, difficult uh, city, and also it's a city that rank, just a moment, city that rank, we have a rank in uh, Israeli, how we rank the city from one to 10, that you can see that the poor city is one and the strong city are 10. Tzfat is rank in the beginning of the process, she was three, and uh, behind, uh, after all this, that we are a very cold city, the cold city in all Israel. We have four times in extreme weather, uh, snow in the city. So all the difficult, the weather, the population, the mix, everything in one city and it's big, big challenge to the city. And we thought that what we do in Tzfat can succeed in all the country of Israel and we build a special model. What the model say? We, in all the difficulties, we recognize two uh, economic engine. One is the... Uh, one is this, is the tourism, uh, the tourism uh, engine of economics. We have 1.2 million tourism getting inside to the city every year. Tzfat is a very unique city to the Jewish people from all over the world. If you read the Kabbalah and all the new age now in the world, so Tzfat is the city that this book was there. And we take uh, this engine of economic of uh, tourism together with another engine of economic that happened in the city. This is the fifth medical school that the country of Israel create. Uh, it's built in Tzfat, and it was a big a game changer and uh, economic engine to the city. And my challenge is uh, we recognize the tourism and the faculty of medicine together with our college. Uh, and the big challenge is if you have a poor city and the government give you this big project is how you take, if the faculty of medicine sit here and the population sit here, how you cut the gap between the big project to the people. And we recognize the local essence. We make inclusiveness. What is inclusiveness? It's to let the people feel that they are part of the fruit of the grow. And it's a big challenge. And I can give you uh, three uh, examples. And only if the people connected to the fruit of the grow, you have a leapfrog. And we built a lot of uh, vision how to do that. I give you three examples how we do that. First of all, we, how we bring the community inside the Faculty of Medicine. It's Teddy Bear Hospital. Uh, children from age three to six come to the faculty and the students uh, learn how to handle with children and the children don't fret from a white coat. Uh, it's a wonderful project and you connect the people to the faculty. Also, we open a program, it's educational, um, uh, educational uh, infrastructure of a cadet program. S uh, children from uh, the school learn medicine, mathematics, and go to be the next doctor from the peripheral. Another example, you can see here, we uh, make a cooperation with an institute inside the city with the college and the faculty of medicine. You can see here uh, students, Arab, uh, Druzen, Christian, and uh, Jewish. Uh, uh, one of them is a doctor and all of them together with a one patient and make a decision and this make the inclusiveness. This is a short example, I can give you more. Uh, in the end of the day, we see the results. Uh, the city make a leapfrog. Tzfat is the only city in all my area that make a jump from three to four in the rank of the government. By the way, the other cities stay in the same position or some of them fall down. And uh, I want to say to conclude two things. First of all, a um, uh, mayor needs to take responsibility and not just uh, sign on a program. We need to be a part of the process. We need to be the leaders 
of uh, our communities and to see how they're connected. And the second thing is when I was a child, if nobody invites me, and if it's a party uh, of birthday, and if nobody invites me to the party, I blow up the party. So you need that your people and your citizens will be part of the party all the time. After that, you have inclusiveness. Thank you very much. Ilan, um, I wanted to lead in with a question. Um, you are the youngest mayor and youthful, um, but, but your generation or our, our generation has seen a very different world from, from earlier mayors uh, uh, in Israel or any of our countries. Um, how do you perceive the challenges of governing a city um, which is specific to your own experience? How is what, sorry? How do you perceive the governance of your city, which comes from your own lived experience of, of growing up in Israel? Our work with the government? Yeah. First of all, uh, we don't do it alone. You need to, uh, to take the government together with you. And when you show the government that uh, this process is make the leapfrog, the government come with you. The problem in Israel is that if you rank from 1 to 10, and I rank 3, and I jump to 4, so the government cut your subsidies. So if you ask all the mayor in Israel if you want to jump, they say, no, 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 we want to stay down because they cut your uh, budget. But in the end of the day, we have now a new generation of mayors, uh, people like me. We put all the respect outside and we speak with the ministers and we work to take control from the main government. And in the end of the day, we know the people. We work with the people, we live with them, we work them. We work every morning with the people when you know what they need. So government change, the mayor stays, and in the end of the day, uh, they start to listen to us. And believe me, if we see that they, it's not work, we go outside to the street. And I am also a leader of some uh, propaganda that we make in Israel, and we get uh, good results. And I, I'm very optimistic about what's happened there. Thank you. So, so a lot more result-oriented uh, behavior from, from the leadership, yeah? Yes. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you for your intervention. Um, it's interesting that the word politics doesn't show on the program for this particular session, but it seems to be a lot about politics. Politics of shit, the politics of water, politics of medicine and community medicine. Um, and perhaps now it's a good time for us to move on to the politics of housing and, uh, and shelter.